Mami. Você andou um pouco e tal. Mami, você não Any time I see another breaking of the day, I say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Any time I see another breaking of the day, I say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Whenever I see another breaking of the new day, I say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Any time I see another breaking of the new day, I say thank you, Lord. Praise the living God. The living, the living, the Bible says, shall give praise unto the Lord. And because you have been zoned along with the living today, you have a hundred percent reason to say thank you directly unto your creator, the maker, and your sustainer so i do so we are and in all situations we learn to return all praise back to him whose name is called the elohim most powerful god so this day we want to come in for our transformation hour we shall be transformed Amen. to the glory and praise of jesus Amen. in jesus name Nonetheless, of all, we are going to come out good. Amen. Father, we thank you today for whatever it is you have made us to pass through. For life is a journey. Thank you for not allowing us to be damaged in the history of our life's journey. Thank you for this bus stop we find ourselves today. All the world over, your mercy has been speaking to your people. On all sides of the coin, your mercy has not been stopped. Neither is there any plan to stop it. So I pray this very day, your Holy Spirit will cover everyone Amen. under the sound of this voice in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you. We know you have answered our prayers already. Amen. I pray the music of our spirit man will rise in your honor. The music of our spirit man will rise to make us to be acceptable before your throne in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, we know you have answered. By the time we are done this morning, we will look back, we will have a danceable testimony. Amen. In Jesus' jubilating name, we have prayed. Amen, amen and amen. amen. So you are welcome this morning. God Almighty will visit, will bless, will enrich, will elevate all of us for his kingdom purpose in Jesus' name. Amen. Our reading this morning will be 10 verses of scriptures from Psalm 34. Psalm 34, we're going to read together. You read your own, I'll read my own. We'll read it together, simultaneous equation this morning, so that we will be able to capture the picture within the word of truth. And the picture you carry, he that sees the vision may run. So we may run with the vision that heaven is superimposing upon our spirit man. I want to believe that we are already there in Psalm 34, reading from verse 1. Are we there already? One, two, three, go. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I saw the Lord, and he heard me. 
and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him, and delivereth them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Oh, fear the Lord, ye saints, for there is no one to them that fear him. The young lion do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. May the Lord bless the reading of that word into life and spirit of everyone in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, there is a will in you. How you direct that will is key. The will in you is what you are supposed to first of all use this day. To raise a song unto the Lord. He says, I will bless the Lord. Some may choose never to use their will on the direction of the great God of heaven to praise him. But I believe you are not among those part of Ingrid. So this morning, can you yield your will? Lord, my wills are here. I want to say thank you. Thank you because say all times, at all times, when you are the top of the hill, I will praise the Lord. When you are the valley, I will praise the Lord. When you are the plateau of your experience, I will praise the Lord. When things work well, I will praise the Lord. When fear seems to be like a wave, I will still praise the Lord. Are you among these fortunate people? And he says his praise shall continually be in my mouth. So if that is you, the praise of the Lord in your mouth, can you now release it to the Lord? Not only will, yield that will and make it work. Yes, there is what is called potential power. When you accumulate a lot of energy, and then that one is what is called potential. But by the time you push it to work, that is what is called kinetic. So can you pull your potential power and make it to be kinetic and, and, and yield it to the direction of the Lord? He says his praise will be regular in my mouth. Don't punctuate your praise. Can you say, Lord, I thank you. That I'm still alive today is a testimony of grace. It's a testimony of goodness. It's a testimony of greatness. Lord, I thank you. Can you verbalize it on the behalf of everyone around you? Those who believe in you, those who cannot stand your failure, those who will do everything to make sure you are standing on your feet, can you praise the Lord for them? That Lord, I thank you. Magnify the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord. The Lord is able. Magnify the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord, the Lord is saved. Can you magnify the Lord on your matter? Magnify your, 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 the, the Lord on the behalf of everything around you for now. And on your family matters, magnify the Lord. Project the goodness of the Lord with your lips. Many times we run commentaries over what we know. We run commentaries over what we don't know. Many times we assume that we know. When exactly what we know is not the correct one. Can we now say to the Lord, I thank you. That in all of my errors and likeness, you are still with me. Can you say thank you to the Lord? Say, I will, I will bless the Lord. Can you bless the Lord that you can hear me? Can you bless the Lord that you can, you can pick yourself up? and see the future before it arrives. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise 
That is what is called the praise of the Lord. His praise. What is it that a lot of people are working on in the world today? They praise human beings more than they praise the Lord. Can you praise the Lord? His praise. His praise of protecting your life. His praise of making you to understand the basic language of life. Can you praise the Lord and worship his name? I was angry, I had no shoes. Until I meet people without legs, praising the Lord. If people that have no legs are praising the Lord, you have no reason not to praise the Lord. Count your blessings and name them one by one. And it will amaze you how much the Lord has done. A good number of life, people in life today, they count their troubles. They tag their troubles. They complain, they grumble, they, 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 they murmur. That will never bring any glory to God. Can you say, Lord, I praise you. I praise you for what I know about myself. I thank you for what I don't know about myself. Thank you for coordinating the effect of the Holy Spirit over my life. Can you say that to God? Verbalize it. Holy Spirit is coordinating your story. You are not a scattered life. You are not a scattered family. You are not a scattered individual. Can you praise the Lord? Deliberate praise unto the Lord. Give it to Him. A deliberate praise. Glory be to the name of our God. Forever and ever. In Jesus' special name, we have prayed. Amen. Look at verse 3. He says, Project the Lord with me. Appreciate the Lord with me. Let us exalt His name together. When we combine our praises to the Lord, it works. A lot of people, when they are sad, they want other people to be sad like them. A lot of people, when they are unhappy, they want other people to be unhappy with them. But now he's saying, your happiness should be made contagious. Let's praise the name of the Lord together. Wherever you are, in your house, wherever you are, either in your compound or at your balcony, wherever you are hearing my voice, can we make a spiritual synergy to praise the Lord together, to thank the Lord for what the Lord is doing? In this nation, Nigeria, God is not unrighteous. He has not forgotten us at all. God is good. Can we say thank you to God? Let's say thank you to God. Exalt the name of the Lord together. The pandemic is in the air. The Lord did not allow pandemic to pound you. He didn't allow the pandemic to pound your family. He didn't allow pandemic to pound your progress. Can you verbalize it along with me to say, Lord, we exalt you together. Isolated praise is good, but it is better to have a coordinated combination of varying individuals. Praising the Lord together. Let us praise the name of the Lord together. Can we wave our hands to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords to say thank you to God? The vegetations, they are raising their hands and praising the Lord. Everything that God creates, they have their, their slot of praise of God. The birds of the air, they give praise to the Lord. The hills and mountains, they give praise to the Lord. Can you also say, Lord, we thank you, we praise you. Yes, everything within you, release them and let them say thank you to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. The one who has not allowed the evil one to damage your life. He didn't allow the evil one to damage your vision. He didn't allow the evil one to damage your family. Can you say thank you to God? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Together we say thank you. Thank you forever. In Jesus' special name we have prayed. Amen. Now when we come into this transformational prayer, in verse 5, it says they look unto him and they were encouraged and their faces was not ashamed. Pandemic is pounding the world presently. Sometimes they say the thing has gone down, another time they say there is a really visit. Maybe that shameful thing he has not completed it is the move of angel of death bringing shame. So you are going to pray in the name of Jesus in the midst of pandemic. In, I declare, I will not be ashamed. Can you open your mouth and pray? Because according to the word of the Lord here, 
He says they look unto God. Since you are looking unto the Lord, you will not be ashamed. So declare that in the name of the Lord, I will not be ashamed. In the midst of this pandemic problem, in the midst of this infectious disease, I will not be ashamed. Shame will not knock at my door. In the name of Jesus Christ, can you verbalize it? Verbalize it and be sure you are hearing your own voice by yourself. This time you are in your house, you should not be afraid to speak up whatever language that can be easy for you, whatever language you can be able to communicate better. God understands you, the giver of all languages. Can you pray in the name of Ojo on TV? Can you open your mouth that I will not come to shame? I will not come to the tabernacle of shame. In the midst of pandemic, in the midst of trouble, in, are you praying? Can you pray on the behalf of your children? Pray on the behalf of your wife? We will never come to shame. It is you that shameful things are not good. They are spirit. And you must also remember there is a verse, be, I mean, there is an angel behind every verse of the Bible. It is when you invoke it in prayer that the angel of the Lord go on assignment for you that, Lord, my business will never come to shame. My children will never come to shame. No matter the action of the pandemic, we will not come to shame. Scholastic shame is there. I will not come to scholastic shame. I will not come to economic shame. I will not come to matrimonial shame. I will not come to health shame. I hope you are declaring. I hope you are announcing. Health of my family will never come to shame. In the name of Jesus Christ, declare. Whatever you verbalize, the Lord will approve. That is the rule of the Spirit. And when you are active and you are praying like that, the Lord Almighty answers your prayer and things works out well and all right. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. He says in verse 6, This poor man cried, and the Lord listened, and saved him out of all his troubles. And there are troubles that are around you. There are troubles that hibernate. You know, in your computer, sometimes some things hibernate. It doesn't show up, but it's there. And there are some troubles that, that, that are conspicuous. You are going to pray either a hibernated problem or conspicuous trouble. Lord, save me from them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you open your mouth and pray? Either a hibernated trouble or conspicuous trouble. Lord, save me out of them. Lord, hear me and save me. There are a hibernated problems. There are some times when they were giving some reports somewhere there in the northern part of the country. They were trying to say some people, a large number of people died. They said it's only a few of them that show the symptom. Others does not show the symptom. They just died. They call it mysterious death. Now there was no way they can locate hibernated trouble. So you are going to pray in the name of Jesus. You hibernated problem. The Lord saved me from you. You conspicuous problem. The Lord saved me from you. Can you open your mouth and declare? All hibernated trouble. There are hibernated financial problem. There are hibernated health problem. There are hibernated um, family problem. Wherever you are hibernating, news is that the Lord saved me from you. You will not capture me when a problem hibernates. Have you ever watched when a lion wants to catch the prey? He will first of all hibernate. All you hibernated problem. All you hibernated problem. Over my children, the Lord rebuke you. All you hibernated problem. Over my future, the Lord rebuke you. Can you open your mouth and deal against hibernated trouble? Sometimes when you see the problem, you want people in their age, they say, Be along, but if you are tiny, honey, cole, panima, that if the Lord reveal to you your enemy, he cannot kill you because you can see it. I, by the enemy, you cannot see. It. So, you are going to pray every hibernated problem. Hibernated problem is a problem that dodge. I will show to man, Farah, Pama. 
I banated problem in my lineage. The Lord rebuke you. I banated problem that are working against my life and working against the program of my children. The Lord rebuke you. All I banated trouble. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord destroys you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jehovah, all my troubles, all my troubles, matrimonial troubles, save me from them, oh God. All my troubles, spiritual trouble. Some people, like somebody has said, he said, when she's in a dream, she will always find herself always eating. Heavy meal that is enough for about 10 people. She will be there eating and eating and eating. She will eat on the, the time she wakes up. And by the time she wakes up, she will be too heavy to even come out of bed. Yes, that is a form of trouble. Some people may say it's good to eat, but what's the value of the food you eat and you cannot get up? That a whole week she will be sick. So you are going to pray that whatever trouble that is hanging around my spiritual life, the Lord rebuke you. The Lord remove you. In the name of Jesus Christ, can you open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus? Whatever problem, whatever trouble, hanging around my children, hanging around my business, either visible or invisible, the Lord rebuke you. The Lord destroys you. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' permanent name, we have prayed. You are still going to pray along that line. There's a case of marriage delay in a particular lineage, in the, sorry, in a particular family. That marriage delay was very unusual because the four girls are pretty well educated. Nobody was saying, how are you? Unknowingly to them, it was an hibernated problem that kept the eyes of the suitors away from them until after prayers. After that prayer, when they discovered the root of the problem, it was like a like, like an old video. No sooner the root of the problem was discovered because their father has initiated them at the point of death, I mean, the point of birth without the knowledge of these children. But the father was there, the mother was so old that cannot communicate again. They searched in the house, they discovered document that revealed that. When I saw, I read through it, and I told them, I said, this is exactly the root of the problem. And that was how the prayer began. Within one month, sweeters from the right and left and middle and center showed up. It means that what have been driving away the sweeters have been hibernated problems. Hibernated problems. So you are going to pray in the name of Jesus. You hibernated problem around my story. Hibernated problem around my family. The Lord exposed you this very day in the name of Jesus. Can you open your mouth? That in the name of Jesus, all hibernated problems, problems that are hiding, that are there to trouble my life, to trouble my children, to trouble my business, the Lord exposes you. Be sure you open your mouth. Be sure you are praying. God will answer. The power of God will do it. There's an angel of the Lord behind every verse of the Bible. That angel goes out. They act it out. All the troubles. Trouble over your children. Trouble over your husband. Trouble over your wife. That in the name of Jesus, save me, Lord. Save me, Lord, from trouble. Are we praying? Thank you, Father. Glory be to the name of the Lord. In Jesus' special name, we have prayed. But someone says, Angel of the Lord, encamp round about them that fear God and deliver them. You are not going to pray that in the name of Jesus let the angel of the Lord to help me to solve mysteries that may be around my matter. Angel of the Lord. Now the word angel means messenger, servant. Messenger of God to you. And every life has one angel or the other. So you are going to pray the angel of the Lord Remove every roadblock from my path. Angel of the Lord, remove trouble from this nation. In the name of Jesus Christ, can we open our mouth and pray? Let the angel of the Lord 
to remove trouble from this nation. In the name of Jesus Christ, every organization of Antichrist dismantle them, Lord. Every Antichrist spirit that are there networking in the country, that the power of the Lord will break them down. And we pray in the name of Jesus, let us verbalize it. Yes, all the moves of the Antichrist. The Lord rebuke you. Angel of the Lord dislocate you. Are we praying? The Lord will answer. The Lord will answer. Angel of the Lord destabilize every moves of the Antichrist. Every satanic agent that are troubling this nation. The Lord rebuke you. In the name of Jesus, angel of the Lord, deliver the saints of God from torment, from trouble. In the name of Jesus, angels of the Lord, go into the east, to the west, to the south, to the north, and deliver the saints of God, the potential heirs of salvation. Redeem them, O God. Let the angel of the Lord to visit them. Can we also pray that the angel of the Lord will go and remove chain that the devil has used to lock our nation. Terrible chain of greed. Terrible chain of the God of Mammon. That the angel of God will break it. Can we pray in the name of Jesus? Every chain that the devil has used to lock our nation. Chains of occultism. Let the angel of God break it. I hope you are opening your mouth to pray. Days of prayers are days of angelic activity. When your prayer is strong, your angel will move. When your prayer is weak, the angel will be wondering, what are you saying? So can we pray in the name of Jesus that the angel of the Lord will go and bring the yoke of occultism, the yoke of satanism over Nigeria, over the nations of Africa, all the yoke of death, the pandemic on hand, presently is forcing nations to become debtors. Forcing nations that once flourishes to be crashing in their economy. But the angel of the Lord can rescue the world economy. In the name of Jesus, can we pray together? When you are praying for the peace of Jerusalem, you will prosper yourself. That is how it works. Prayer can work in an inverse proportion. So you are going to pray in the name of Jesus. Angel of the Lord, go and rescue economy of nations. In the name of Jesus Christ, rescue, save, protect economy of nations. Beginning from Nigeria. Thank you, Father. Glory be to God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. There's a good thing despite the lockdown. There's what? Good thing. Good thing is that you can pray without much distraction. If you are disciplined enough. Good thing is that you can read your Bible now and know what God is saying by yourself. Not they say. Hey, I think they say. Those times are all gone. Now, there's this good thing now. Angel of God can visit you. So you are going to pray. That in the name of Jesus, despite all, I will have experience of good things. At my coming out of this lockdown, I will have experience of good things. Can you open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus? I declare that my children will have experience of good things. Good things. In the name of Jesus Christ, good things. Yes. Yes. He says... The young lion do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not have short supply of good things. Declare upon your children, you will have good things. Good health, good favor, good imagination, good backup. Yes, in the name of Jesus, that is the best you can do for your children at this time. That is the best you can do for your wife at this time. That's the best you can do for your husband at this time, your extended family. People that give you support of their life, can you pray good thing into their life? Whatever that good thing is. 
Angel of the Lord knows how to deliver that thing in their favor. Glory be to the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. You are going to pray that in the name of Jesus, anything that is not good, let them walk away from my zone. Every bad thing and the spirit that is sponsoring them, walk away from my future. Beginning from today, can you open your mouth and issue a command that in the name of Jesus, anything that is not good, whatever it is, as long as you are not good for the program of God in my life, walk away. Walk away permanently. You will never come back again unto my life. Participate in this prayer. Several hundreds of people are also praying the same prayer you are praying. And you must need to join your prayer along with others. Together, we will do good. Together, we will escape evil. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' special name, we have prayed. Amen. Judges chapter 8. Judges chapter 8 from verse 33 through to verse 35. Judges 8, 33 to 35. He says, and it came to pass, as soon as Gideon was dead, that the children of Israel turned again and went a warring after Bali and made Balbereth their God. And the children of Israel remember not the Lord their God, who had delivered them out of the hand of all their enemies on every side. Neither showed they kindness in the house of Jerubah, namely Gideon, according to all the goodness which he has showed unto Israel. Will you say you understand this? Gideon came a life soldier. He mobilized and he won battle for the nation of Israel. When he was dead, he said, you have, you have died for yourself. God who delivered them, they went away again, back to idol. They didn't remember to repay, repay good for good. Your Bible says, It's been long. Why should we need to appreciate for what is been long? Therefore, someone said, that's in Bible days. What happened between Nigeria and South Africa? You know all that happened in Nigeria? Uh, when Nigeria had a strong backup for South Africa. Now, after years, what happened? So, our line of prayer is not on that issue. But it is that you are going to pray that your destiny will come out from the midst of ingrates. In the name of Jesus, my destiny come out from the midst of ingrates. Israel were in great. They don't know how to appreciate anything. They do not know how to appreciate. After the death of Gideon, they went back. They didn't even remember to appreciate him at all. Many people, they are sowing seed in a rock, on a wrong, on a concrete that can never produce. So you are going to pray my destiny. Don't labor loss. You will not labor loss. In the name of Jesus, I pray that my destiny will not labor loss. Can you open your mouth and pray? Of all the sweat of Gideon, Israel went away backward from God. They didn't appreciate God. They didn't appreciate Gideon. If he has died, he has died. We go and look for another person. If he has died, he has died. We can go and look for another God. Selfish people. When they were enjoying the freedom that Gideon through God brought to them, they were happy, they were joyous. No sooner after the death, they didn't even remember again. You are going to pray. The people with short mind deliver me from them. Those who will only appreciate the wrong people and will abandon the right people. Lord, deliver me from them. I hope you are praying. Be sure you offer this prayer. It's not an uncommon prayer. Everywhere it happens. Everywhere. You will labor this way. Labor that way. Nobody will remember. 
Even after death, nobody will remember. And you are going to pray in the name of Jesus, my destiny. Don't come to the camp of evil people. Do not come to the camp of wicked people. Don't come to the camp of people who don't know how to appreciate. My destiny, walk away from their midst. I hope you are praying. I hope you are praying. Many times, history has spoken. Nobody seems to listen to the voice of history. And history is repeating itself. But if you have prayed from the beginning, that the Lord will direct your destiny away from the midst of the wasters, away from the midst of destroyers, away from the bottomless pit. In the name of Jesus, deliver my destiny from the power of the bottomless pit. Oluwa invest, Oluwa woman swelling. Want to ye pada, want to not your woman. Oluwa invest, Lori, Lori, want to be Gideon did it. He rose up Gideon to help them. That same Gideon died. They didn't bother because they are wicked and selfish. So you are going to pray in the name of Jesus, deliver me from the midst of wicked people. Before it is too late, deliver my family from the midst of wicked people. Don't allow wickedness to overrun my effort. I hope you are not closing your mouth. Pray for your children. Pray for your children. Pray for your children that the Lord Almighty will save them. Thank you, Father. Glory be to the name of the Lord. In Jesus' cogent name, we have prayed. Are we saying amen to that? Amen. Judges chapter 4, reading from verse 31. Judges, you know, many times what we do is that we, sorry, Judges chapter 5 from verse 31. What we do is only to gloss over the face of the Bible. Instead of thinking deeply, we just read it through and we run through. It may also be that this Israel, there is a force that is stealing their memory. There is a force that is stealing what? Their memory. You are going to pray that those who should remember you, Satan will not put them under attack. In the name of Jesus, those who should remember me, that they should come out from the prison of the devil. I want to hear one thing and one more. I want to hear one thing and one more. I want to hear one thing and one more. I want to hear one thing and one more. Don't allow them to forget. In the name of Jesus Christ, some people have been plagued with the spirit of forgetfulness. Some people can forget themselves where they are. And as a result of that, what they should do, they have led the innocent to suffer. So we are going to pray in the name of Jesus, Spirit of forgetfulness, you will not run into the life of those who should help me. Are you praying? Are you praying? Sometimes what some people needed to fly is a little help. Not a big thing. But the devil will blame them, the, the helper with forgetfulness. They will not. Until the journey of three days becomes 30 years. After the 30 years, more than plan for move and law work to go. I want to help him before he dies. Oh, oh God. And that is all. So you are going to pray. You spirit of forgetfulness. I bind you away from my helpers. I bind you away from my supporters. I bind you away from my ministry. I bind you away from my, my business. Are you binding them? Forces of um, forgetfulness. Sometimes a single person that remembers your company will make your company to fly very high. But when the person forgets, activity here and there, and that person has forgotten, you continue to somersault on the same spot. Bind there, and the Lord will give you victory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now, verse 31 of Judges chapter 5. Judges chapter 5, verse 31. So let all thy enemies perish. O oh Lord, but let them that love him be as the sun when he goeth forth in his might. 
and the land had rest. How many days? 40 years. 40 years. Two points of prayer. You are going to pray in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Let my son shine in his strength. Let my son shine. Now, there are degrees in shining. There is a quarter shining. There is a full shining. So you are going to prophesy upon the sun of your life. The sun means a radiating point. That in the name of Jesus, shine in his fullness. Shine in your strength. Son of my life. Oh, Ruaye Mimashe War. Tanjade. Can you open your mouth and prophesy now upon your own son? In the name of Jesus, shine at the right time. In his fullness. Yes. Son of my business. Shine in his fullness. Whatever is attacking your shining. Break down today. I hope you are not closing your mouth. You do that, it works. The son of Nigeria. Nigeria is supposed to be a son. What is dulling our shine? Demonic, satanic agent. We are going to pray that everything attacking our shine, the Lord will bring them down. Whatever is closing and limiting our shining, the Lord will build you. In the name of Jesus, whatever is still that is covering the shining of your home, I hope you are not closing your mouth. Inspire your children to join your prayers. Inspire your wife to join the prayers. That's the only thing you are sure of. As far as the pandemic time is concerned now, that's what is um, important for you. Pray. The pandemic of the COVID has come. All for one thing. It is to dull the shine. You, no, pandemic will never dull my shine. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Are you saying amen to that? You know, I think it was in India. During this COVID time, a woman was pregnant and delivered twins. Now, guess what the names were? The name was Corona and COVID. <laughs> Corona and what? And COVID. And then, uh, of course, that one has a good news. That in the name of the Lord, to others it may be a bad news. To me, it's a good news. You are going to pray that good news will reach you. That in the name of Jesus Christ, your son will shine. Can you prophesy upon someone in your family? Your son will shine. In the name of Jesus, my son, your son will shine. My daughter, your son will shine. Can you also declare to your benefactor, in the name of Jesus, I declare you will shine in your strength. Can you also pray as I come out? In the name of the Lord, I will shine. So shall it be. In Jesus' flourishing name, we have prayed. And the land had rest 40 years. Now, I'm going to make a request. I need 40 years rest. War is enough. 40 year rest. I ask for it. He that asketh receiveth. He says, and the land had rest 40 years. Can you open your mouth and pray that in the name of Jesus, I need special rest in my ministry for 40 years. Special rest in my family. 40 years. Yes. My helpers receive rest for 40 years. Some people they are born to fight and they fight your death. And we go about the They will fight you until you go into the into the graveyard. Oh, God has given me victory. Forty years. Can you get an approval today? Forty year rest away from war. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you declaring for your business? 40 year rest. In the name of Jesus Christ. 40 years. To the glory of God. 
I hope you are not distracted. I hope you are saying something. We are reading from the Bible. And the land had rest 40 years. Jackie, delay me only. See me of God, your God, your do. 40 year rest is not too small. Can you start from there? 40 year rest. You have struggled over years. Look at the last 40 years. Is it not struggle and struggle and pain? Declare, let there be rest. Let there be rest. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be rest. Jackie, see me the Bible, do I hear me? My Lord, help me, Lord, never to die in battle. And he says the land had rest 40 years. Can you secure approval of God? Approval of God for 40 years. That there will be no attack of the devil upon your family. No attack upon your ministry. 40 years. Rest. Yes, peace. Yes, shalom. Yes, when peace reigns, testimony comes on. Glory be to God. The Lord is on your side. And He will do exactly what you are asking Him to do. Faithful is our God who has given the promise. We are going to pray for rest for Nigeria. Lord, we need rest in this nation. Trouble everywhere. Trouble everywhere. Hide and seek. Manipulations. All manner of wickedness. Injustices. Robbery. All manner of um, sacrifice to evil. Satanic um, worship. All manner of... We need rest in Nigeria. That's why most of our children... I've traveled overseas and they became senior slaves. Only a few of them are breaking through. We need rest. We need rest. We are going to pray that the Lord Almighty will give us rest. Some people have been training children since the time they are born. No rest till now. Can you pray that the Lord will give you rest? Give me rest, oh God. Permanent rest to the glory of the Lord. Rest that the devil can never remove. Do you know the Lord is answering? God responds to our prayer and not to our grumbling and our complaining. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' special name, we have prayed. Thank you, immortal God, this day. You have blessed us and the blessing continues. Reach out to everyone interceding, both for the world for their families and friends. And I pray in the name of Jesus, fulfillment will show up. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Amen. In Jesus' special name, we have prayed. Amen. And amen. amen. This morning, I have the word of the Lord for you. So long as you are privileged to hear me today, it's for you. And what is the title? I will triumph. I will triumph. Can you say that wherever you are? I will triumph. Again? I will triumph. Can you say it louder? I will triumph. The Lord is your portion. The presence of the Lord will approve that for you. Are you saying amen to that? That is my dream. That is my life. That is my destiny. And I believe that is your own life and destiny as well. Amen. I will not turn to be a victim. Can you say it loud and clear? I will not turn to be a victim. I will not be a victim of um, COVID-19. I will not be a victim of COVID-19. I am not a vulnerable person. I am not a vulnerable person. I am a born victor. I am a born victor. This is my vision. This is my vision. Are you saying it loud and clear? My assurance came from the word of God. Because somebody will be saying, why are you saying that? My assurance came from the word of God. And in the name of the Lord, the word of God will work in my favor. Amen. Are you saying it to yourself? 
The word of God will work in my favor. Now look at what Jesus revealed from his hidden speeches. The story of Jesus that was summed up in six verses. How many verses? Six. And that's there in Matthew chapter 13. Matthew chapter 13 from verse 24 through to verse 30. Matthew 13, 24 to verse 30. Another parable put me forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a man, which sowed good seed in his field. But when men slept, his enemy came and sowed tears among the wheat, and went his way, verse 26. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tears also. So the servant of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, dost not thou sow good seed in your field? From whence? He said, From whence then as this there? And he said unto them, An enemy has done this. The servant said unto him, Without then that we should go and gather them up. But he said, Nay, let's while ye gather up the tears, ye root up also the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And in the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tears, and bind them in bundles. To burn them, but gather the wheat into where? Into my bounds. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, can I unveil the hidden speeches of the master teacher in the deeper things of the spirit? Number one, Jesus revealed that God is a gardener. He revealed him as a gardener with good seed. And he also revealed that our world is a garden where I will flourish. It shows that often my flourishing and fruitfulness on earth is a must and that I will flourish. That I have a peace, a place of comfort with God even at the end of my life here on earth. It's a plan that God already had before my arrival. I want you to use that to mirror yourself. Now, it's a God who has given a promise. A God that can never lie. In Jesus' exposition, there will be sudden manifestation of evil personality to show obstacle. <laughs> Even though God has a good plan for me, for you, for your family members, there is going to be sudden appearance of evil personality to show obstacles. Hindrances, weeds, deliberately on my way. It is to compete. It is to frustrate at all costs. Effort of the gardener the reason why God, God sold you is not to frustrate you, <coughs> but suddenly another personality came and said, I will frustrate you to make the good seed of scale. And the weed will be visible and conspicuous. Weed will be visible and conspicuous. Human hair. Jesus revealed that well is good, but according to the farmer's um, uh, servant, they said, Can we go and render help? Hmm. Jesus said, You might help cannot be trusted though, to produce a good result in this war. It is a war because they have sown another personality by the side of that good seed. And something is completely crashing you and competing with you. Is there anything that is competing with you? Are you aware? Now, terrible seed 
is there to choke your dream. Arrival of COVID-19 is a sign of seed to choke your dream and reduce you and kill. But I have a good news for you. Praise the Lord. You know what I want to say? Even though I'm small, I have a big God. God has sown the seed. Even though the wicked has come to sow another seed, it will not affect me. They may cover me for some time. They will dry up. Are you saying that to yourself? Evil will dry up. Say, let amen to that. Now, understand that evil seed or human error will not frustrate you. To fulfill the plan of God, he will not frustrate you. It is a battle fighting. And in the name of the Lord, your existence and your result is going to come out. Madam, I want to say this to you. You will triumph. No matter how deadly the attack around your home, you will survive. No matter the number of those who are dying in hundreds, you will survive. Amen. If there is a place for me by my creator, creator has created a place for your family, you won't die with the rest. Amen. You will fulfill your assignment on earth. Amen. He knows that I will triumph. And that is why let all the forces of nature here listen to what I have to say that I will triumph. I will triumph. Let all the mockers and all those who believe I will never come up. Let them hear it loud and clear. I, I will, will triumph. triumph. Can you declare it loud and clear? I will triumph. I hereby declare in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth today that the spirit of the mighty God will cause you to triumph. Amen. Can I hear a powerful amen, amen to that? Amen. Over all the troubles. When God sold you, he sold you for you to come up to flourish. But the devil came and gave bad seed so they can compete with you and cover you up and limit you and weaken you so that the hope of God concerning you will not be able to come to pass. But God is patient. I hereby declare, whatever has covered your glory, let them dry out. Amen. Let the angel of God burn to them. Amen. Can I hear a living amen to that? Amen. And I declare good healing to reach out to you today. Amen. I declare that as you go, the presence of God will go with you. Amen. As the Lord lives, you will make it through. Amen. You will triumph over COVID. Amen. You will triumph over poverty. Amen. You will not sink into depression. Amen. You will not sink into failure. Amen. Somebody say, is he prophesying? He that listens to the prophet in the name of the prophet will receive prophetic reward. I hereby declare, today, now you stretch your two hands unto God, I declare today, ability to triumph. Let it possess your life in Jesus' name. Amen. You will not fail. Amen. You will not fail. Amen. Whatever evil has planted and is covering your originality, right today, may the wisdom of God beat them small. Amen. Whatever has made themselves an evil competitor, competing with your life right from birth, fighting wars that you never even imagined. In the name of the Lord, I announce your final destination. Amen. You are going to triumph. Amen. It will not be too late. Amen. Are you saying amen to that? Amen. Over your children, you have joy. Amen. Over your home, you have joy. Amen. Over this nation, we are going to have joy. Amen. In the name of the Lord of hosts, the pandemic that is hitting the world, Almighty God will protect his people. Amen. The saints of God and the ministers of the gospel, the Lord will exempt you from it. Amen. God's hands will spread upon you. Amen. God's glory will rest upon you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. all the caregivers who are re reaching out to people and they are getting contracted into that disease, the Lord Almighty will heal you. Amen. Those who are affected and infected, 
May the Lord touch you and heal you. Amen. You angel of death, you are banished. Amen. Angel that is competing with the health and flourishing of God's people, the Lord banish you. Amen. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Amen. Your peace will be like a river. Amen. Your joy will be without conclusion. Amen. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Amen. If you forget every other thing, remember today, the same way the good seed that was sown triumph, I will triumph. You will triumph. Amen. We will triumph. Amen. As a nation will never come down. Amen. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Amen. Both at home and abroad, heaven is with you. Amen. Heaven is for you, Amen. and you will have living testimony to share. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Again, do not forget, we are meeting again in the Lord Tarries on Friday for our Bible study. I hope you have done your homework that was given. If not, please can you go back and Listen to those homework is very refreshing. Keep a notebook for those homework. They are leading you somewhere that you are going to be relevant and strong in the things of the Lord. Meet us again on Friday, 6 o'clock from 6 to 6.30. May the Lord bless you and the member of your family in Jesus' name. Amen. Of course, on Sunday, I know you are going to also remember to be with us from the hours of 10 in the morning to the hour of 11 o'clock, one hour service. Thank you. Love you all. You will triumph in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.